What is this SF cube technology? SF cube method is an innovative technology of blood cell analysis in some hematology analyzers. In this method, reticulocytes, NRBCs, and five different types of WBC abnormal cells, such as atypical lymphocytes, blast cells, as well as RBC fragments and lipid particles can be separately identified and graphically shown in 3D scattergram. Let's see why it is named as SF cube technology. By interaction with reagents and fluorescent dye target cells are subjected to 3D analysis using bi-angular laser scatter signals. Therefore it named as SF cube. Let's see the white blood cell analysis process in SF cube method. In white blood cells analysis. Add lysis solutions lies RBC and remaining cells is WBC. Then add fluorescent dye to stain nuclear materials of the WBC. Cells are injected into a flow cell which is located in the optical path of a light source. As a light source use high energy laser beam to strip through these cells. Cell sizes, granularity, DNA or RNA materials are assayed by forward scatter, size scatter and fluorescent signals respectively. All these WBC cells are plotted based on their cell size, granularity and nuclear materials. And also immature granulocytes such as promyelocyte, myelocytes, metamyelocytes and high fluorescent cell populations such as blast cells atypical lymphocytes are also plotted in this scattergram. The 3D scatter grams generated with the cellular information such as its size, complexity, and DNA, RNA information which can help clinical experts to identify and differentiate cell populations, in particular abnormal clusters undetected with other technologies. Basophils identification. Basophils are considered as bigger and more complex than other WBC subpopulations after mixing with reagents. The 3D scatter grams generated with the cellular information such as its size, complexity, and DNA, RNA information, can help clinical experts to identify and differentiate cell populations, in particular abnormal clusters undetected with other technologies. Nucleated red blood cells identification. NRBC may be misclassified by many types of hematology analyzes because of its similar size and nucleus to the lymphocyte. It can cause to wrong total lymphocyte and WBC counts, on the other hand, NRBC does not usually appear in the peripheral blood of healthy people except that of fetus or newborn babies. Its presence in blood samples is associated with hematopoietic diseases, automated identification and accurate counting of NRBCs is of great clinical significance. NRBCs are flagged and well differentiated from WBCs and basophils is ensures more accurate WBC count. And also helps doctors to diagnose hemolytic anemia and monitor hematopoietic diseases, thus reducing the ratio of manual review. Reticulocytes identification Reticulocytes parameter provide information on status of erythropoiesis, help diagnosis of anemia and therapeutic monitoring of anemia. Reticular sites are differentiated of other red cells by their interaction with fluorescent stain. Because reticular sites contain some amount of nucleic acids. Platelet identification. Platelet can be distinguished from other cell population. Avoid interferences from microcytes, fragmented RBCs large platelets or platelet clumps by fluorescent stain and enhances results accuracy and sensitivity. Let's see how to avoid of lipid interference in this method. Lipid particles are not stained by fluorescent dye while WBCs stain. Volume of lipid particles are significantly smaller than WBCs after being lysed. Basophils and WBCs are completely separated from lipid particles in the FS direction, thus preventing interference and ensures more accurate WBC results. If you are interested in my video creation, like this video, feel free to give your comment. Please subscribe us on YouTube.